What up YouTube, it's your boy Professor Sticks and I'm back again with another Call of Duty Warzone video to help you rise above the average. Now today we'll be comparing the Bullfrog and the Bison. We'll be looking at the weapon stats, comparing the damage profile, we'll be talking about the best situational use for the Bullfrog, we'll look at the best attachments, and then finally we'll compare the recoil pattern. If you like the video and learn something new, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and consider turning on notifications so you don't miss another Call of Duty Warzone video to help you get better right now. Now let's get into it. When comparing the weapon stats, the Bullfrog and the Bison are pretty similar. The ADS speed for the Bullfrog comes in at 220 milliseconds. The ADS speed for the Bison comes in at 225 milliseconds. The movement speed for the Bullfrog is 4.758 meters per second and for the Bison it's 4.807 meters per second. The reload speed is 2.204 seconds for the Bullfrog and the reload speed for the Bison is 2.11 seconds. The rate of fire for the Bullfrog is 750 rounds per minute and the rate of fire for the Bison is 654 rounds per minute and this is where the biggest difference comes. Now when looking at the base size mag, I thought it was important to mention that the base size mag for the Bullfrog is 50, whereas for the Bison it's 64. But with attachments, you can make the Bullfrog go to 85 rounds in a mag, and with the Bison, you can do 84. Now let's talk about the damage profile. The Bullfrog does 55 damage to the head, which means it's going to take 5 shots to kill a fully armored opponent. The Bison also does 55 damage to the head, which means it's going to take 5 shots to kill an enemy opponent. The Bullfrog does 34 damage to the chest, which means it's going to take 8 shots to down a fully armored opponent. And the Bison does the same thing, coming at 34 damage to the chest and 8 shots to down a fully armored opponent. The damage falloff is pretty much identical, with the Bullfrog coming in at 15 meters and the Bison also coming in at 15 meters. The biggest difference comes at the time to kill because of the bullfrog having a higher rate of fire than the bison which means that the bullfrog is going to down a fully armored opponent when hitting all of your headshots in 320 milliseconds compared to the bison which is going to take 367 milliseconds when you're hitting all of your headshots to a fully armored opponent for the bullfrog when you're hitting all of your shots to the chest a fully armored opponent is going to be downed in 560 milliseconds compared to the bison which is going to take it 642 milliseconds seconds. Now let's talk about the situational use for the bullfrog. The bullfrog should be used in a balanced playstyle. It is not for aggressive pushes because of the time to kill is not as high as some of the other more aggressive SMGs like the MAC-10 or the MP5. It's perfect to pair with a long range AR like the Krig-6 or the Kilo. It works well for suppressing a push by enemy opponents because of the extra rounds. Now let's talk about the best attachments. Alright so for the attachments for the bullfrog we're gonna go with the Gru Suppressor. We're gonna go with the 7.6 inch rifle. The underbarrel, we're gonna go with the Spetz Nas Grip. The 85 round Fast Mag. And the Gru 5 milliwatt laser sight. This I think is the best optimal build for me. It's balanced, it's gonna give you hip fire, it's gonna give you the fast reload. I think this is a good build right here. And then I'm gonna show you guys the Bison, which is the typical monolithic suppressor, 8.7 inch steel barrel, the five milliwatt laser, 84 round mag, and the stippled grip tape. All right, guys, let's jump into the recoil pattern. So I'm standing 15 meters away from the wall, which is the damage fall off for both weapons. And I want you guys to see what the recoil is like from this range. As you can see, the bison goes straight up into the right and the bullfrog goes straight up into the left. And so you can see here, the recoil is pretty simple. You're just gonna be going straight up and in the opposite direction. So you know you just have to counteract that on your right joystick. My final thoughts on the Bullfrog and the Bison, they are pretty much the same weapon, but when it comes down to the TTK, I'm most likely gonna lean over to the Bullfrog because of that increased rate of fire. Man, I literally love using this gun. It was pretty fun to use in Warzone and I found myself just letting it rip knowing that I had enough bullets so if I missed a few I can just readjust my aim and just down enemy opponents so as you guys saw in these clips it does fry try it out if you're looking for something different you're looking for something new as always guys appreciate you guys if you learned something you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and consider turning on those notifications so you can start fragging out in Verdansk guys drop into the war zone and make sure you do what you always do best frag out Peace.